Thank you for taking the time to view the new features of Fast Track Schedule 10. In its 10th version, this is by far AEC Software's best. Now, Fast Track Schedule is the world's leading cross platform project management application. It communicates all aspects of a project schedule easily and intuitively. Project workflow and presentation quality schedules are perfectly balanced. Fast Track Schedule helps create your project schedules in a fraction of the time, all the while ensuring your next presentation or schedule handout is as impressive. Now, it's not just about the features that we've added to both the Macintosh and Windows versions of the software, but it's how these features improve your workflow, provide you with simple choices, smart features, and allows your creativity to flow onto your project schedules. So for the next 15 minutes, you'll discover how Fast Track Schedule 10 is unlike any other project management tool out there. Fast Track Schedule 10 puts you in control of your scheduling and will forever transform how project communication, presentations, and proposals are conducted. In creating version 10, we focus our efforts into three areas. The first are features, second, workflow improvements, third, presentation quality. The reason? We had a look and found that other project management programs focused on features and not much attention of how a user goes about performing these functions, such as their workflow or presenting their schedules. Using these three focal areas as guidelines, the first major thing that was done was completely redesigning the user interface. Version 10 marks the first major interface change in Fast Track Schedule. No longer is the interface an agnostic fence sitter between Macintosh and Windows business productivity software. This version is inspired by Apple's iWork suite and embraces the sleek and functional tools of their toolbars. We adopted tools that made sense for a project management interface and diverted on those that did not. For example, FastTrack Schedule is the first project management application to implement Apple's format bar in each of our four views. So if we're looking here at our schedule view or a Gantt chart, and this is where we would build, track, and manage our tasks, we can see that the format bar is unique to this view, provides us with all sort of controls. If we jump over to our resource view where we manage our resources, we see that the toolbar has changed to adapt to the resource view. And of course, our calendar view where you can view your tasks in a more familiar format, well, the toolbar here and its controls also are unique to this view. And last but not least, our print preview. The controls here and in the toolbar are also unique to the print preview. Having these unique format bars in each of the four views allows for faster editing and a better user experience with the interface. Not to mention, an improvement in workflow. So again, regardless of which view you're in, only the controls that are pertinent to your view will be active. Through much debate, one of the things that you will see missing in Fast Track Schedule 10 is an inspector button. During the development of version 10, we discovered that it actually hindered a project manager's workflow. So as much as we wanted to incorporate into version 10, we felt that it wasn't the right tool for a project management application. So let's have a look at these great new features in Fast Track Schedule 10. Keep in mind, workflow and presentation always being considered. So as you've heard me mention before, communication is one of the most important parts of project management. Fast Track Schedule does a great job. Look at the schedule here. We have all sorts of communicating tools available. Here we have a bar that looks like a Japanese flag because of projects in Japan. But our bar styles, very, very nice. Um, best bars in the business, bar none because you can make them your own. You're not defined by what we have. And our workflow of editing bars, well, it's all here in this dialog. It's quick and easy. And let's make something really unique. Let's create our own milestone, not just a color of a milestone, but from an image. So as we go through this dialog, we're gonna create this milestone, not from one of the many points that we have available, but as I mentioned, from a picture that we've taken that's gonna help really nail our point. I see I just need to browse through my list of images, make a couple of size changes, and that's it. We apply it.
now that bar is available to us to use in our schedule. So we pick the milestone we want to change. So there you have it, our milestone target. Now how are we improving global use? Well, work calendars are one of the areas that we definitely have improved in version 10. Here we have several different resources across the world. And work calendars, we're going to be able to create unique calendars based on each of these areas. So let's take, for example, Australia. And here we have a list of calendars that we can use. In Australia, they have their own unique holidays. And what we're going to add is the 26th of January, which is known as Australian Day, the Day of Independence. And with the creation of this calendar, I can make it unique to only Australian tasks or resources. So here we display that the 26th is a day that's an exception. And we have the difference between yellow and red, base and resource exceptions. So all we need to do in order to utilize that work calendar now is go into the task and choose a calendar to use. So the 26th and 27th, you'll see the bar is working on those spans over those days. But when we use Australia, you see it shifts an extra day. Not only that, but we can see that we have a unique work calendar that is not the same as the complete project calendar. And we can uh, compare those by looking at the project information and the calendars being utilized there. Now, what about resources? Well, as we mentioned, we can also assign resources, um, work calendars to resources. So I just need to go to a, a resource so and choose the work calendar. And instead of having a um, standard we've assigned an Australian holiday calendar but I want to show that a, an exception that a resource creates is separate from a base calendar exception so we'll have an extra day off from Australian day and now it does it's designated between yellow and red so the most requested feature in fast track schedule 10 has to be effort driven scheduling and what effort driven schedules mean is that the amount of work in a task doesn't change However, the duration of a task might change based on the number of resources on it, hence the effort or the work. So if we look at a bar here, and here you can see it says apply effort driven scheduling. I could turn that on or off. Let me move this a second so you can see the bar. So this is the, the wow moment, by the way. So let's select a resource. We'll have Susan. And when I select someone else, look what happens to the bar. It shrinks. It's shortened. But the same amount of work, 16 hours, 16 hours, 32 hours total, is still managed. Now you've just seen the most requested feature in Fast Track Schedule. Now I'd like to talk about some of the cooler ones. And it has to do with, believe it or not, resource mitigation and resource management. So how do we know if resources are over allocated? Well, in Fast Track Schedule, you can always go to the resource view and look at the different tasks that a resource is on. And here we already know that test pilot is over allocated because they're in the red. And I could change some of the days there and how much we're working on simply by spot allocating. But how do we make this easier for multiple days where they're over allocated? Well, you just simply come into the task and you adjust the contour. And this is new to Fast Track Schedule. You can actually redistribute a uh, resources effort by choosing one of these different contours. In this case, backload it. And notice what happens up top. You see, the work is now redistributed across that task. The great thing here is now I don't have to spot allocate individual units. Now, how about adding resources to a task if they're available? Again, resource mitigation. The way that many project management tools do it is you actually have to go back to a resource view and you have to find out, well, who's available on these days? Where's the free time? Well, Fast Track Schedule 10 now, you're able to do this all in one area. And it's very easy to do. All you have to really look at are the different tasks you're working on. And then turn on here, Farmer Todd, Work Usage. And now we see a gap with one of our resources, our administrator. So now that we know that there's a gap, we simply type into that task. You don't just have to type into the task itself, but you can type into that column in that row. And if I select individual tasks, I can see my resources and where they're allocated.
So how would I go about entering a resource into my schedule? Is there an intuitive way of doing it? Will it improve workflow? And of course the answer is yes to both those questions. If we simply go to our resource view and on the format bar you have the address book button. Now you can import your context from address book directly into Fast Track Schedule. So simply choose your resource and hit OK. All their data comes over and our dialogue for um, addresses and our contacts is very comprehensive. And if you use a picture for them, make sure you've taken that picture before you've been assigning them to tasks because their demeanor might not be very picture friendly afterwards. If you find yourself having to work with third party products like Microsoft Project, Faster Schedule 10 provides a solution that no other product has there. And this is the ability to actually save off as a Microsoft Project file uh, as well as a few other file formats such as MindJet Mind Manager and an ICS file like Calendar or Outlook. And you can save these files off automatically in addition to Fast Track Schedule. Or you can tell it as a setting to save off in the file that was opened in Fast Track Schedule originally. I did hear the other day that project scheduling and project management has a bit of a rep. And that rep is that it's boring. And I would argue that Maybe someone's not actually using the right tool, or maybe they're not making their schedule as enjoyable as possible. So with that in mind, there are a couple of industries that came to us and said, hey, can we expand on how we communicate our schedules? And that was our marketing and our construction industries. So in version 10, we've added a new feature that allows someone to be even more creative. So let's take this schedule here, for example, where we're uh, doing a renovation, um, we're installing HVACs, and we switch a layout. Because FastRack Schedule 10 supports image columns now, where you can actually add an image into a column. No other project management tool out there does this. And how easy is it to get an image into a column? Well, you can right click, or for our Mac users, we've added a new tool in the toolbar called iMedia. And all you have to do in iMedia is just click on the button. and select the image in your folder. Drag it and drop it. And there you go. Very easy. And it just doesn't um, relate to columns. You can use iMedia for your print preview or your drawing layer for when you present your schedules. So if we go to print preview, we go and grab a picture. Maybe we might want to use instead of an image, let's use a, our corporate logo drag and drop maybe do some resizing and we'll add that as an image embedded into the schedule or as part of our header so when we hand this out for a proposal or as a meeting handout everybody knows what company created this schedule so all parts of a schedule here are put together nicely from your pictures and your headers and your footers and to your graphs down below, your legend, it all comes together to provide the best presentation scheduling tool out there. And when you're ready to get started, go ahead. We're with you every step of the way. Faster Schedule 10 provides you with plenty of resources so you can get up and running quickly and easily. So just launch the application, select the new file, and you're presented with this Getting Started dialog. In this dialog, you have videos and tutorials you can use as well as other collateral. But what we're most proud about is our templates and example schedules. Here you have access to over 80 examples and templates, including an earned value file. With our examples, well, we support many different industries and have many different example files where you can copy or use our various bar styles. So take a minute and look at all these example files available. Thanks for taking the time to discover Fast Track Schedule 10. Download your demo version for your Macintosh or Windows computer at acsoftware.com.